right, so gold, when you buy it in the form of jewelry, is going to be measured in carats. The most carats you can have are going to be 24 carats. So you can make a fraction, 24 carats. That's the most you can have. So what you're going to do is you're going to say however many carats you have in your jewelry, we'll say X carats. times 100 will equal your percent gold okay so here is another here, here's an example of how that works so let's say we have 14 carats out of 24 carats possible and whatever that number is we're going to multiply that times 100 and we'll get our percentage so we'll have 14 divided by 24 times 100. And that's going to equal 58.33% gold. All right. So it's important to know what percentage gold you have because when you're going into these buy silver or gold places you want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth for whatever gold you're you know whatever gold you have you, you want to get paid a fair price you don't want to get ripped off all right so every time there is going to be a number that we're just going to plug in that we're going to have to figure out whether or not it's the grams of gold that we have or the carats that that gold contains or the price of gold for that day um, I'm gonna write it in pink so you will be able to just plug the numbers in and then chug out your answer with the calculator so we're gonna say we have X grams alright we'll have X grams of gold alright so I have X grams, and then we are going to multiply that number. So we'll say times. For every one troy ounce, remember those are troy ounces, per 31.10 grams, which is like really 31.1034768 grams, but let's make it a little bit more simple for for this so that's constant that's always going to be that and we'll multiply at times we got to figure out our percent gold so we'll just say our um, we'll call that variable y our carrots of our gold times the price per ounce let's write out price that time per one ounce of gold and, and so that will give us the value alright so it's really that simple so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pretend that I have 5 grams of a 14 carat gold ring and we'll use today's spot price. Okay? So here we're going to say we'll say we have X equals 5 grams. Alright? We will also say that our carats of our gold, Y, we'll say it is 14 carat. And today's price, our spot price for gold per ounce is 1573. Alright, so I'm going to rewrite this equation. And I'm just going to plug in my numbers. 
Hopefully I'm not losing any of you. So we're going to have... Five grams times one ounce per 31.10 grams times we got 14 carats. Just write my unit in black. All right. Times. Fifteen seventy three per one ounce, and that's going to give us how much it's worth. All right, let's take out my handy dandy calculator. Let's see if I can move this up a little bit. Try to show the calculator. Sorry about all the moving around. So we'll take five times one divided by thirty-one point one zero times fourteen divided by twenty-four times fifteen seventy. Three. And that should give us how much the spot price of the value of gold that we have. Okay? So, 5 grams of a 14 carat gold ring is going to be worth $147.52. So, um, for those of you that uh, maybe have trouble with... Uh, the algebra, I guess, that this involves. You just take your number. If the number's on top, you hit the multiply button. 5 times 1 times 14 times 1573. And if it's on the bottom, you divide by that number. Then divided by 31.10, divided by 24, divided by 1, and then equals, and then you will get your number. So that is how you can calculate how much your your gold jewelry is worth um, when you go to one of these we buy gold places so you don't get ripped off because you know we got to stick together in this prepping community so this is kentucky prepper 1792 signing off remember to put god first to love your neighbor and never stand down to evil god bless